Right, Jack here, Jack again with another culture performance for you. A uh, really cool one. I uh, saw, pardon me, saw a tutorial for this. No, I saw a performance for this, but he uh, never gave out a tutorial, so I had to kind of figure it out myself. And um, this might not be the way he does it, this could be like an original effect, but um, I love this trick. It is really good. When perfected, it looks amazing. So, um,. I'll show you it, and if I get enough comments for a tutorial, I will try to get one out. Um, so anyway, let's get on with this. They can pick any card. Well, the deck is completely shuffled. Um, they can check that as much as they like. Anyway, they can pick a card out, like so. Six of diamonds. Okay. Then, what we could do, I could just go down through the deck put it in the deck like that and it's gone do a couple of piles like so so it's gone so yeah we can even shuffle it it's just kind of really saying that it can be completely shuffled even the spectator could shuffle it so yeah it's completely free shuffle now uh, let's think spectator I asked them to think of a number so say they say five one, two, three, four, five. And they go on top. That's just to kind of mix up the deck as well. And then I say, right, think of a bigger number. Let's say they say ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just like so, and the deck goes away. And then I give the this little pile to the spectator, and I say, right, go through the cards. I'm going to try to read your mind, okay? So they're going through the cards. I think, which card could it be? Um... Okay, do it again, but a bit slower. I'm gonna really try think. Stop. That's your card. And they will be amazed. <laughs> but anyway, um, there was absolutely no setup, no gimmicks. The spectator can shuffle the deck. Um, really simple. Hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time.